I'm going to assume that you guys understand the the relationship between the memory clock, the U clock, and the F clock. This is the DRAM. So that's your DDR5 clock or DDR4 clock. U clock is the unified memory controller clock. And F clock is the fabric clock. Also, sometimes people might refer to this as the uncore. Although I don't like to use the word uncore for the fabric clock because that might confuse people because they see the U here and they might think that that is the uncore. But with DDR5, these are kind of the three parameters that you want to keep in mind. Like if you're trying to run, especially if you're trying to run four sticks of memory. Now, if you're trying to run two sticks of memory, there's a couple of things. So with two sticks of memory, it's all about how fast can you go. With four sticks of memory, it's more about how stable can it be while also trying to tune the timings and the impedance so that you get the best performance at high density. If we talk about DDR5, so DDR5 is kind of interesting. DDR5, it's one stick of DDR5. You can kind of think of it like one, one dim of DDR5 is kind of equal to two dims of DDR4. Not exactly, but it is kind of like that. You can This is an oversimplification, but you can sort of think of it that way in your head to give you an idea of how hard it is to run DDR5 compared to DDR4. So if I have two dims or sticks of DDR5, that's kind of like running four dims of DDR4. So think about that. If I'm running, four, especially if it's dual rank, if I'm running two dims of DDR5, which in this case I am, I'm running 2x48, that's kind of like if, if I was to run four sticks of DDR4 on a Zen 3 platform, like a 5950X platform or a 5800X3D platform. If I go up to four dims of DDR5, how many sticks of DDR4 is that equivalent to? Like, let's see if the chat is paying attention. So do you guys know, like, roughly how many sticks of DDR4 is four sticks of DDR5 equivalent to? Yeah, eight dims. Eight dims of DDR4. So this is the reason why. So has anybody actually tried to run eight dims of DDR4? Have you guys ever tried to run a system with eight sticks of memory? Think about that for a second. Eight sticks of DDR4. How many compute? How many platforms supported eight DIMMs of DDR4? Let's name some of them. Let's list the platforms. So X79 was one of them. X99 was one. So 70. You said 7820X. That was Skylake X. That was X299. You know what? X399 was also that one. Basically, all the Threadrippers, up until the one that came out last year, which is the one that I did the live build on, those were all 8x DDR4 systems. So these systems ran that much, could run that much RAM. And the thing is, these systems didn't clock DDR4 that high. You weren't running 8 sticks of memory on any of these platforms above... 2933 or 3200. What I can tell you guys, so on my old Threadripper, my X399, I am running on that platform, I am currently running 8x, uh, what is that, 16? 16 gigabyte for a total of 128 gigabytes on my old Threadripper. 2950x and you know what speed it's running at 2933 megahertz so what i'm trying to explain here or get the concept across that if you want to run four sticks of ddr5 you have to imagine or you have to think about what you can do with eight dims of ddr4 because the speeds that you can do with eight dims of ddr4 that's kind of what the upper limit is going to be on ddr5 
So what that what we should probably do now is kind of do an equivalent translation. So DDR4. So let's take some of these these JDEX speeds. Like what is the lowest DDR4? 1866. Then 2133, 2400, 2666. You know what? Let's get rid of 1866. That one's like very ancient. So then there's a 2800. Then there's 2933. Actually, let's remove 2800 because no one ever used that speed. 2933, 3200. We'll go. We'll just use this as kind of the the baseline comparison or the reference, I guess. So now let's look at DDR5 equivalents. So DDR5, 3600, 3800, 4400, 4800, 5200, and so forth. So actually, I kind of want to remove one of these. Let's remove that one because no one really uses 3800. So these are kind of the equivalent speeds. DDR4, DDR5. So now when you guys look at DDR5 speeds, these speeds, specifically these speeds here, 2133 DDR4 and 3600 DDR5, these are the speeds that you see when you clear CMOS and install four DIMMs that are dual rank in the motherboard. What do I mean by that? That means if I load up 64 gigabytes of DDR4, if I do 4X, if I do 4X 16 DDR4, it will post initially on a cleared CMOS it will train and post at 2133. Sometimes, depending on the motherboard and depending on the CPU, it might even post at 1866. So the point that I'm trying to make is if you're trying to run four sticks of memory, because the thing is, there's a lot of content out there talking about two sticks of memory. Two sticks of memory is easy. Like nobody today should be having problems with a DDR5 platform if they're running two sticks of memory. The challenge is always four sticks of memory, especially four sticks of dual rank. The DDR5 equivalent would be 4X32 gigabytes DDR5. This is a dual rank DDR5. This is a dual rank DDR4. Now I know DDR4 got more dense uh, later on in the latter half of the DDR4 lifespan they did come out with 32 gig DIMMs on DDR4, but that was not very common. In fact, when DDR4, when I first built my Zen 1 build, I was running single rank 4x8 gigabytes. I was running 32 gigabytes of Samsung B die, G Skill Flare X, you know, the very famous 14, 14, 14, 34, 1.35 volts, the famous G Skill Flare X memory. Samsung B I was running 32 gigs, 4x8, single rank, DDR4. And we're talking two DPC, two DIMMs per channel. That means four sticks of memory. So these speeds that I'm listing in this table, this is, this is literally what you're going to be dealing with if you want to run a lot of memory. So the upper limit of what is possible is like anywhere from 5,200 all the way up to 6,000, if you're lucky. 6,000 is kind of the upper limit of what you can do with like 128 gigs or 192 gigs of DDR5. And this is both AMD and Intel. As soon as you go to four sticks of memory, they behave exactly the same. Like they're both going to only be able to do, you know, around 50 two to 56 and that's the reason why and that's considered an overclock uh for both of them when you're running two dpc so one dpc intel's max official spec is 56 one dpc amd's max official spec is 52 oh by the way intel's alder lake 12th gen the max official spec was only 4800 so keep that in mind that was for one dpc on Alder Lake. In general, this 
this table is a good reference point for understanding like what is the equivalent DDR5 for a given DDR4 speed. 3600, the equivalent speed for 3600 is 6000. 